Ladies and gentlemen, Papa Boris here playing some more Krumit's Tale. Let's go ahead and I'm, what? I don't have enough items, oops. Oh God, and I don't have enough gems to buy anything. <laughs> How did I do that? Well, I don't really want either of these items. So we're gonna just go in with an item short because we're amazing at this game. <sighs> All right, Tower of Thieves. Here we go, okay. Is it gonna be tricky? You don't tell me what's gonna. Oh wait, I don't. I don't. I only have one base attack, right? This is actually is gonna be kind of tricky. No wait, these guys are easy. Yeah, so this is fine. With my amazing three attack skeleton, we just kill it in two hits. And I want to get this soul beam and just get 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 to beaming, beam it up, boys. Now this is interesting. What would it really let me kill? And uh, no, I want to just pitch this. I want to get some gold. Ah, oh, I wish this thing could fall into the place of this, but there's no way to make that happen. Okay, oh, yeah, there is. I could kill this. No, okay, I'm just gonna get two gold. We're gonna buy the soul beam, get the beamin, and <laughs> what's the recharge after a minion dies? Well, it's actually kind of weird. I don't really have a way of killing a minion right now. Um, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're gonna do this. And just kill him. And now I can get Cardoso's Thirst, which would kill this after I soul bumped again, which I believe is the past tense of soul beam. Uh, shoot. I mean, I could just get a minion. Oh, right, this is what I should do. I should just get a minion here. And then I can sacrifice a minion. Like, oh, that would sacrifice both minions, though. Eh, because the second attack is blitz. Because oh, the second attack is four. I could buy this. And then buff their healths. Or I could just buy this and just kill this. Then I'd have to lose something because it would add the stupidity to my deck. This right now is four attack? Hmm. I got this hat coming so I could make these my endgame minions. No, I don't want to make them endgame minions. I really just want to build up one of them. Yeah, I think with this, I, with these hats, I would try to just build up one minion. That's what I would try to do. Okay. So what am I actually doing right now? Maybe... I'm gonna get this, and then I am going to pitch a minion here, and then I can soul beam, can't I? Oh, this can't be used in battle? Oh, no, that's cool. No, it's fine, I wasn't gonna use it in battle anyway, man, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so we have a stupid now added to my thing. Now, I believe this should work towards Judicator, right? Three, and now five, look at that. So I'm going to soul beam in this column. And then buy this hat. So this is a four attack now. And then... Uh, um, I need another minion so that I can kill the minion that I get. Not this minion because I just buffed his attack, but I have to use this and I have to kill something with it. All very awkward. Okay, we're just gonna waste it. We're just gonna do that. And the idea then is now I can get a minion and I can sacrifice the minion, you see, to this big six attack, you see. And then I, I guess we'll just do this so it doesn't kill my skeleton and then we can kill it. All right, and then I guess we'll soul beam there. You know, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna. It would. It would's gonna be to just have minions die. Honestly, it's like a big old honking pain in the ass. All right, we're gonna just um, do that. Um, so now I need a minion to sacrifice. So we'll do this, and then oh, it doesn't actually die because it only hits for three. I was thinking of the, the goblin level. Oh god. All right. No, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. So now what I'm gonna do 
I need to clear an inventory spot so I can puppet master this lady. Uh, so I need to kill the punk? Alright, we'll do this. I'm gonna just kill the punk with my main man, Sam, over here. And his, and his big ol' four attack. So they're both hurt, but we can heal them a little bit. And then heal them again. And then now I can do this to kill him. The Puppet Master thing making your minions have a base attack of three is pretty nifty, I gotta say. And let's heal them. Um, I really need to freaking inventory, man. Inventory, so difficult. Okay, we're gonna pitch that. I need to use up the stupid captain's hat. Which I can't because this thing is on tag is unblockable. Oh my god. Can I use it on you? Sure. Okay, let's just use it up. So now she's frozen. Can I kill her? For... There we go. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to switch to this one, sacrificing it. And then I'm going to kill it. And then... I am going to get something from this column. Let's try the armor. I would actually not mind this thing having more health, so maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of those skeleton parties. And then I'm going to get this weapon as well. And I'm going to... Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no, I did, I did it on purpose for my adjudicator. Maha, yes! Now we're going to soul beam that whole column. Whoosh! And now... Um... Yep. Okay, well, let's uh, see what happens here. Oh, this is six. <sighs> I don't kill that because I am not missing enough health. What about this? Oh, that's an unblockable. You know what? Screw it. We'll take three damage. And then we'll kill it. Okay. All right. You see how this is going to work? And then... Oh, I need, an, I need more space. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ribbony, what do you do? Are you the six? You're the five. You're a five. Okay. Am I missing enough health just one shot you now? No. All right. I need to take two more damage. I could make a minion and get rid of this thing. Although that's dumb. Nah. Mm. Okay. Now we're just going to do this the hard way. We're going to take one damage. But then my big beefcake will actually kill this in two hits, taking zero damage in the process. Thanks in part to my chill stamp and in part to... First striker privilege. Then we are going to do that again. Do the exact same thing again. Oh, but I take no net damage. Oh my god, I take no because because I'm a vampire. Oops. Also, I forgot. Oh shoot. Oh no no no. <laughs> that other one was missing two health apparently. Well, I'll use my weapon, I guess, to kill it. So luckily, I had that. Oh Christ. Okay. Um, you know what? I just really need to be at one health. Maybe this is the time to skeleton party? This is the time to... Th this thing sucks. I don't like the soul beam. It takes up space, doesn't do enough damage, and it's too hard to kill. Like, you think, oh, minions die all the time. <laughs> and then, like, it just doesn't really work out. All right, Puppet Master. I'm just going to kill this. And then I am going to fight this thing. There is a stupid that's going to be coming at... I'm going to get rid of the soul beam. I am going to allow my soul beam to get to get popped out and I will look to get rid of it at the earliest possible opportunity because I really just was not impressed. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's fine. All right, so now let's get rid of these tombstones. Okay. So now I guess I'm, just, I'm sick of you. No, yeah, yeah, I'm sick of you. I did buff your base attack, but I don't care. I want you out of my inventory. And I just... Now, because I now have that ancient skeleton who starts with the four attack, so it's, it's better anyways. Let's draft an item, I guess. Oh, okay. That's actually a pretty good pickup. What is this? Yeah, I don't have room for it. What's this? No. So we're going to do that, and now we have a five attack skeleton, so that's nifty. Okay. Um, I don't know, I'm never gonna use the soul link. It's never gonna happen. Can I use my armor? I'm gonna, you know what, fine, let's just take some freaking damage. I'm so tired of having health. Ugh, health is the worst. I just wanna not have health. 
Can I please just not have health? Man, this is, maybe this is the problem with the vampire uh, thing, is that, like, if you end up going for, like, some weirdo health gambit type of scenario, you're, like, just sick of having health and then healing automatically. But then again, you know what? It wouldn't have really helped anything in any case because... Oh, interesting. I was disarmed. Um, okay, well, I guess Big Beefcake is going to have to take a bit of damage there. I did not plan that out. Well, my it would have sucked to have lost that skeleton. Okay. Because you have to pitch these for stuff to appear, and then you, you're you getting two health. Yeah, that pickle juice... Oh, I got rid... No, I, did, I did not get rid of my pickle juice. I still have pickle juice. I, this pickle juice is not very helpful. I would rather be more damaged than less. Okay, let's try to use up the stupid armor. It feels like I'm just trying to constantly use things up. Yes, okay, so let's use up the weapon. Just get rid of it. I probably didn't even need to. Right, get rid of this. Okay, so now it's gotten to the point where I'm like, yay, I get a stupid added to my inventory. Thank goodness for that. You know what? I talked about how you can't really get like a good high damage minion game, but it has worked out with those captain hats. Okay. Um, can I just kill you in one shot? No, not quite. I need to take a bit more damage to kill you in one hit. All right, fine. Let's just get a minion out here so that now I can one-shot you. Okay, and so now I can buy this weapon for free. Oh, it's not free because I just healed. Okay, we'll buy it anyways. Okay, I don't want any more skeleton parties. Or at least I don't want two of them, I don't think. I'm not gonna want this pickle juice. I'm not gonna want this soul link. Yeah, we're just, I mean, we're at the end of the fight, really. Blop. All right, cool. Well, that was very strong. I think it's a good sign if you're constantly yearning to be more damaged. You're probably in pretty good shape. Got a bunch of gems, so now we can make up for that tile that we're missing. Yeah, I want this. Increase the base attack and health of the minions by one. That's perfect. Stamp time. I mean, maybe. I do have a lot of tiles in inventory pretty much all the time. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Yeah, wow. Okay, it's the only thing that's there and even remotely usable. Okay. What is this? Destroy Tombstone to draft a copy of Hardy Bones, Soul Feast, or Skeleton Party. Interesting. So use it twice. <gasps> that can give you more max attack. I think we're actually going to get there with this, ma with this um, skeleton attack buff strategy. Now, I want to get rid of pickle juice because it has not been helpful at all. And I want to then get another devour so I can keep raising my maximum health. And we're up against the exile. This is a tricky one. So all tiles are more expensive by one, which can be absolutely devastating. The fact that you can't target it while other enemies on the board is not as big of a deal because a lot of times you don't want to attack the boss while there are still enemies on the board. You want to build up your strength, you know, but uh, the, the first part, which is just there the entire game, is is tough. Now, I do have the one-armed stamp, so it kind of counters it for items, at least. And I also have, um, what's her face? The balance stamp. Well, it doesn't help. Wow, it's still, it still costs three. Hmm. But something like the starving sickle, if I am missing excess maximum health, that can be useful. Okay, any hoodle. Let's... Hop to it, folks. So this is actually fine. I want to take two damage, be frozen, or free, freeze the enemy so my skelly doesn't take any damage when he kills it. And then I heal up to full. So that's fine. Um, now what? What am I doing with my life here? Don't want to commit to this being used on my skeleton? Let's get that. What is this? Ah, yes. You have to parry with it, though. You can't use armor against these guys. And I'm not going to parry because it's actually five damage, as we all know. So it's going to be a little bit tricky to parry. But it would be nice to increase the maximum health on my minions. Hmm. Can I even do anything? Can I, can I hit you? You see, then you're going to be frozen. Three plus three plus one is unfortunately only seven. So I could I could have my skeletons kill it. But the 2-2 two, two actually kills either one. Hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do, sell this hand so I can buy this thing. 
And then, oh, I can't actually, uh, I was thinking I could do this, but I can't use armor against the guy, which is a, a commentary I have in fact made. Oh, I'm so good at this game. All right, I'm gonna do this maybe. Although having it be frozen is not even useful. <sighs> Let me see, one plus four plus four is nine again. Oh God, all right. <sighs> okay, so what I could do is I could just take four damage and that would make this cost one and then I could sell something and then I could buy it and then I could kill him with it. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll try that. So we're gonna do this. Oh, I take only three damage, oops. The freeze will wear off and then he's gonna kill one of my skeletons. So I actually need to run right now and this costs three, which is not one that I thought it would cost? Oh gods, oh my lord. All right, uh, is there anything? Okay, now now we're switching gears from trying to play well to trying to survive at all. Let's get rid of a skeleton party because that's not useful at the moment. Another one of these guys, terrific. Um, I might want the bell for the boss. This might be useful to kill a snot wolf, but at the moment, three gold just to raise the max. No, I'm gonna sell this. Okay, so we're gonna parry this thing. And then kill it. And so now, I get a minion. This, this should be free, right? Yeah, it's free, okay. Can I kill this thing? One shy, all right. Well, I could sacrifice a minion, I suppose, and then kill it. Is that worth doing? Well, why don't we, if we're gonna sacrifice a minion, have that minion do something useful first? Oh, that does not work how I thought it was gonna work. Oh shoot, this is annoying. Okay, so basically this thing is gonna just kill me and my minion, so I, now one of the other minions has to step in <laughs> to actually take that attack. So I, I wasn't actually able to sacrifice that minion because of the blitzy nature of the ordeal. Um. Can I just kill you? Can I just kill you? Oh, you're blitzy. You're blitzy? I really forgot those guys were blitzy. All right, well, what then? Uh, maybe this? I have you tank the damage. Well, then I don't need the weapon to kill him. Oh, hilarious. All right, well, we'll kill him. Um, tombstone. Tombstone to heal up my squadron. I guess I can do that again because it works and I'm just trying to survive this map that I'm apparently terrible at. So you're gone. And then I can heal my skeleton team and then do it again. Oh, you know, that's fine. These are like tier two or I don't know, maybe even tier three enemies. I'm fine with just being able to kill them. Oh yeah, this, is, this, this will let me get more attack power on my two end game minions. So I need to now sacrifice something I think your time has come, Skeleton. Yes, your time has come. So you just get absolutely wrecked, and then I kill it. Okay, so now I wanna use my tombstones to heal my boys. The interesting thing is, do I want to get a royal, or an ancient skeleton? Because the thing is, that one starts with more health. So I'd rather have that be one of my end game guys. Yeah, I do. So I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna kill a swamp golem with it. Get two of the three gold back, which is honestly not bad. Oh, well I can just do it again with another swamp golem. Hmm, I need to get, I need to have a guy die. Okay, so you are actually gonna get sacrificed. I'm gonna train up an ancient skeleton in your place because that has a higher starting health value than you do. Okay, so now I'm actually safe because this guy is not blitzy. So we just render him dead. Awfully fancy way of putting it. And then we're gonna puppet master the other skeleton, swamp, swamp golem. So now my two skeletons, the ancient ones with the helmets, those are gonna be my final guys. Um, you, I'll take a hit so you're frozen. So my second skeleton can hit you without taking damage. But I need to, I need to find a way to toss this guy ASAP, Esperanto. Um, I could just pop him out with a devour. That just seems so stupid to do. Okay, what is this? Oh yeah, you get a trash golem. Three attack, eight health. 
Oh, well, I gotta have that. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna just pick it up and pop a minion out, and then I'm just gonna pop it. So now I have an eight. So this is even better than the ancient ones, because it's eight health instead of six. And on top of that, it also heals additionally whenever you discard a tile. So I'm gonna actually have to pop one of these guys off, because I don't think having three is really practical. In fact, it's impossible because you need um, one space for the book and then one space for the thing you draft from the book. Okay. So now let's fight a Globber. I think I'm gonna use Mr. Swampy to kill the Globber. That's a cool animation, it's all like floppy. That's great, I love that. Okay, now does it count for the tombstones? It does not count for the tombstones. So when it says, so this time it says when it's discard a tile, it actually does mean truly discarding a tile. Very interesting. Okay, we're gonna now need to get rid of one of these guys. So I need to try to like get this guy to die. He's not gonna die here though, unfortunately, because of the sleeping. But whatever the next moderately tough enemy is that shows up, I need to pitch that guy. I'm not gonna want this health potion. I mean, I could, I guess, just have a Globber kill him? That seems aggressive. Fine, we'll do it. I just want him out of here. Oh, right, my Judicator still isn't kicked in because I've just been using my minions to demolish everything. A little bit of a nonbo there with the uh, Judicator and the Ventriloquist. Oh, oh, I have an empty inventory space. So this is the time, I guess, to devour these tombstones so that um, I get the maximum health increase. Okay, okay. Okay, oh shoot, I don't, I don't quite kill him. It's fine, you know what, I need to get rid of that weapon. Let's just, oh hey, I got my Judicator stamp, well, that's cute. Okay, so now we need to just kill this Globber. So that's easy with my four attack minions. Okay, let's get rid of this Tombstone. I want the Soul Feast to buff their attacks further, which is terrific. I'm out of tombstones for this Devour. I guess that's all right. Let's buy this Captain's Hat so it buffs their attacks some more. I've actually pulled it off. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually did manage to make it work with the whole buffing their attack to ridiculous level strategy. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not even, I don't even care about the blocking with it at all. Uh, the boss was hiding out near the very bottom. All right, well, with seven attack, my Swamp Golem and my Ancient Skelly both just demolished that thing. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. I am not gonna Soul Link anymore, okay. And so now, what are we gonna do? Well, I could, let's just jump in there and see what I, oh, this is just such a weak enemy. All right, so we're gonna just use that for nine damage. And then I'm actually gonna flee here. Let's buy this Necrotome, which might not be necessary. Wait, what? Dest oh, it's, oh my God, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> I forgot you had to target tombstones with that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that's funny. Um, Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. It's pretty good, yeah. All right, so we're gonna sell that, and I guess we're gonna sell that, and I guess we're gonna buy this instead, because it actually does something. I should just be able to beat this boss up, because I do a lot of damage. Oh, I don't even need my minions to kill it. Oh my god, this is hilarious. All right, well, <laughs> anyways. Gonna try to remember in the final battle against the Lich that I need to make sure uh, to leave tombstones for that awesome book that I got. Okay, we're gonna take a cut here because my baby's waking up. Be back in a sec. Okay, let's go ahead and continue in the onwards direction. So I guess I'm getting a weapon. Now, I think for this, I don't want a delayed royal skeleton, especially one that I have to pay three gold for, or three health for. So that's not gonna be it. This, uh, it's just so weak, it's one. And yeah, it's piercing, but I mean, it's one. What are you? Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll take that. And then for my stamp, Three random blessings, that could be helpful, I guess. This is probably bad. It actually means I begin with a full inventory. The sword, chainmail, matches, and my starting skeleton from the Gravedigger stamp. 
This is him. This, does, if, if I choose to have a minion attack, does it carry over? Or does it have to be on the actual first attack action? Okay, so this all seems pretty bad. I'm gonna, I guess, just take three blessings. We'll see what that is. I don't have very high hopes. Okie dokie. So what am I looking for? I don't want any more soul links. Summon a skeleton minion is interesting. So you just pay four gold. And you get all the minions that you want. Minion dies. Restore four health. Armaments for... Well, try... Because you gotta, like, have the minion in your inventory and also these... Yeah, if I won't try it. And I guess I'll recharge. This will be my last thing. Okay, well, I already have, like, three of those. I think that's probably enough. Um, uh, when you defeat me with this, increase your... Oh, yeah, I want to increase the max health by one. Yeah, I do I need more gold. No, I think I've been doing okay on gold. We'll take this. So I've got to pitch something. And what am I going to pitch? There was something... Oh, yeah, this, this garbage. Okay, we're going to pitch that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, let's see if Moldorf can successfully remember to not let the nukes hit the bottom of the screen. <laughs> okay. So, not a bad start, actually. We get just some gold right away, which is great. And I could just buy this to immediately give this guy plus one attack, but um, it's kind of tempting to actually get this Puppet Master and then buy this, because I can kill the Swamp Golem with the two gold Puppet Master, which I can already afford. I just need to clear something off the board, which is trickier than it seems, because these none of these are like a tier one enemy. I think my best bet's probably this guy. Oh yeah, my base attack is one. <laughs> Okay, so I do one, plus two is three, and then he's frozen, and then I just kill him. Okay, so this actually works. Blorp. And then I put my minion out for the damage dealing capabilities, and he survives thanks to the MVP chill stamp. Okay, so do I get another minion? No, I'm not going to get another minion. I'm going to just pitch this, and then I will buy the Puppet Master. What is he? Um... When you defeat an adjacent enemy, gain an additional gold and then remove this. Oh, that's just like an extra gold? That's lame as hell. All right, well, that's nothing special. Okay, so uh, I could just buy this. And then, what is this? This is for, and I could actually parry this guy with it. Okay, fine, we'll do this, I'll buy that. So that the blessing is next to the swamp golem, then I'll kill the swamp golem. Which gives me the gold I need to buy the captain's hat, raising their attack by one apiece, and I can use the captain's hat to kill this guy. Why am I dealing two damage? Oh, do I have the pack rat? Oh, it actually kicks in, would you look at that? Wow! And now he's frozen, thank you, MVP chill stamp. Lorp, actually it wouldn't have mattered, would it? Cause, <laughs> Cause he was, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. All right, but anyway, so we're down to that. Wait, would it have mattered? No, it would have it not mattered because he's frozen, then he was going to die. Yeah, no. Frozen and parried. Okay, I want to get this going ASAP. I want to buy this. I want to get two more of these hats. And I want to just go crazy with the attack. I got other stuff that can raise health. So I want to use both of these for the attack. So what do I, what am I doing? Oh, well, I think I, I should just use the other tick of my quote-unquote chain mail here. Oops! Oh, Jesus. Um, well, luckily, I can kill him now, <laughs> but that was a bit of a misclick. Okay, um, so now we do this guy, and we're gonna parry him to raise our minion's health, which is nifty. Very nifty indeed, and he's all frozen. This is going swimmingly. All I could really ask for here are some, um, uh, de detonation thingies, and just have them all go to the bottom and kill me. That's just, that would be perfect, if only that could possibly happen. Okay, so the awkward thing here is now I want to use this, but I need to have a space in my inventory for it. And this four block does not really parry the zeal nuts. What are you? Oh yeah, I don't want to decrease the max health by one yet. This thing is actually kind of tricky to use. Um, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm just gonna take three damage to make a minion. And I'm gonna use the minion to just face tank this eight damage hit. So I basically took three to make the minion um, instead of taking eight to take the attack. 
And that's fine, because when I kill this, I heal for two, because I'm a freaking vampire. So it's like I kind of took basically no damage there. Now what I could do is, oh shoot, I should have thought about this. I can use the Puppet Master to kill the Zealnut, and then I can have my end game be with an Ancient Skeleton who starts with one attack, which means the parrying to buff the health of the Skeleton was actually totally wasted. Is that worth it? I think it's actually worth it. I think it's worth it because it's early enough that a little bit of a mistake is not worth making like more of a mistake just to pretend it didn't happen. You see, because now, oh wait. <laughs> Because now there's no enemy for me to kill with a puppet master. Oh, I'm so good at this game. All right, so we have to clear out some tombstones, but I do need to make sure that I keep two around so I can actually use this necrotome. Okay, I don't want to make minions because I need to. I need to freaking. This is this is actually really weird because I can't take this off the board now. Oops. Well, I'm definitely not ever gonna buy that. So this can just sit there, but this is a little awkward. I need to heal. How do I heal? Oh, I kill, I kill enemies. Right, okay, where the hell are the damn enemies? All right, there's an enemy. All right, I'm not gonna wanna use Skeleton Party, I don't think, so we're just gonna pitch that. Which makes me wonder why I have two of them in my deck, but any hoodle. Okay, so you. Do I wanna, I hate using Puppet Master on this hunk of junk. Uh, okay, fine. We're gonna just buy this Puppet Master. Maybe the thing behind the Lich King is another thingy. What is this? Your base attack is just one against adjacent enemies when you defeat an enemy. Removes... Oh, this is lame as hell. These blessings suck. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, um, so we're gonna use the Puppet Master just to get the Ancient Skeleton. And then we, well, hmm. I need to freaking get an enemy to kill. Okay, we're gonna pop this off, going down to one hit point. Um, okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna waste this. Wait, 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 can, is this the Lich King? What's what's his first attack? It's a four, okay, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna parry the, oh wait, no. Mm, I don't wanna parry this, because then I actually get a doom in my thing. I don't want that. Okay, so we're gonna waste the parry on this skeleton, just to buff my guys' health, basically. And the fact that I was able to buff their health, yeah, they have a very high number of healths now. I can now confidently, finally, take the Necrotome. And then p pitch this Tombstone to get, what do I want? I want this, max health and max attack up by one. Boom goes the dynamite. Oh, I don't know, I don't need an extra inventory space for it. I could have done it the whole time with just one space. Oh my God. All right, so, well, that's that. So now all these guys are hale and hearty. Um, one damage shy of killing this in one hit, which is fine because we're gonna buy this captain's hat. Boom! Now he gets for eight. Oh my god, this is this is like old school, early access beta branch Moldorf action right here. I am loving it. Boom! Oh my god, I love this. So, so okay, this is still gonna be a little bit of a problem. So it'd be nice to find. Um, one of those ancient thingies and blow. Although I've already used two of them, haven't I? So I must, I must find my third one. This is my base attack is increased by one against those. Okay, well it's not gonna matter. I don't think it affects the skeleton. Does it affect the skeletons? Well, I'm definitely never using this shit. So we're gonna just pop that off. And then, okay, so my base attack is three. Is yours nine? No, it's still eight. Okay, that the guy can actually face tank it. Um, I'm not sure I want to do that. Yeah, I think we'll just do the old Razzle Dazzle. I'm gonna pop this just to have my minion take the damage. So I basically like take a net of three and then we kill it with my awesome DPS Skeleton Rogue. Oh yeah, I have these in the deck, fantastic. Yes, I will devour this tombstone to gain maximum health. And then you just die. I'll even use my 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 al my my beta instead of my alpha to kill you, just to humiliate you more in your undeath. Now with 12 damage, I do not quite kill this guy in one hit. So let's take a look at the scenario here. Six plus six is 12 plus four is 16. Boom goes the dynamite. Oh my God! I love this. This is this is with this. I think he surpasses. Bruno as my official definite favorite character. I'm I'm never even gonna need to use this block on the captain's hat. We'll just we'll just pitch that off 
for no reason. Just get rid of it. Now, what are you? You offended me. Increase your max health by one. Oh, I should probably try to do that at some point. And, you know, yeah. Well, I could do this skeleton party and then just soul link. Yeah, let's just do that. I got gold to burn. Why not? So we're going to do this. My health will go to one. Boop. And then I will kick out the captain's attack because it's just dumb. And I'm going to soul link this guy. Boop. And now he's at one health. <laughs> what is that achievement? Oh, I can't click on it to see what the achievement is. The old switcheroo. All right. And then I'll just kill him myself. Blorp. Alrighty. And then we have another captain's hat. Oh my god, that guy just gave me another captain's hat as well. Alright, so we're gonna pitch the tombstone. I don't need the tombstones anymore. Shit, guys, I don't need anything anymore. It's just... Riding the gravy train all the way to Funky Town. Well, I don't know. The lich thing might be a problem, I guess, with all those dooms. You know, I actually, that's a really good point. I don't have much of a counter for the dooms. Because, yeah, they just go in your inventory, and then each one you have to pay three health to get rid of it. Oh my god, there's another captain's hat, and one of these. Holy Jesus. Well, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, I should try to use the haunting bell against the Lich King. Yes, that would be smart. I, 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 could, be, I could hit him for a goodly chunk with this. Okay, so I need to... Um, am I ever gonna, I don't need to use this, like, the skeletons already hit harder than I do with any of my weapons, so it's sort of pointless to even bother with the weapons. I need, I need an enemy that I can kill so I can devour its, uh, tombstone. Okay, so you, for example, oh, I almost one-shot him. Almost, almost one-shot this guy. Well, that's fine. Okay, so now I will just completely ignore that captain's hat, devour the tombstone for more health. You. Okay, I'm gonna do a tech move here. I am actually gonna take this eight damage. And then kill it. It sucks that I healed for two there, but now we can buy the Haunting Bell and then just pop the Lich King for 26 damage. You know what's weird though? I could be in trouble because, um, oh my God, I could be in a lot of trouble actually. Because I don't have my pickle juice anymore, so I don't have any way of healing myself, and those dooms are eventually going to get me. Hmm. There's not enough enemies for me to heal from, is the thing. Wait, I have to be careful. I actually need to be very careful. What I need to do is I need to kill this thing with the, with the thirst. That's what I need to do. So I, I, I increase more health. Because I need more health before I fight this boss. So if I just casually puppet master this thing then that's not going to be very good okay what i'm going to do is buy this i'm actually just going to throw out this puppet master i will let one of my skeletons actually take a hit so this guy's um very low health and then i will use the cardoso's thirst to finish it off to get the health buff and the skeleton's not gonna get quite healed up all the way. All right, so I'm hoping I can find a way to kill this guy with um, the Cardoso's Thirst as well. So I'll let you kill that guy. And if I attack it, I die from poison. So I guess, see, that does not kill it. Just takes it down to one health. Yeah, this is fine. So I take it down to four health. And then the fact that he's poisoned is irrelevant. We thirst him. And then we get the devour. And then we devour the tombstone. Oh, she does matter. Because I never devoured. I, ne I never pitched the tombstone to heal my skeleton. Oops. So this thing can't attack anymore. It can only take a hit. Ah, it could be a potentially game-losing mistake. Well, uh, what else do I have here that's, that's relevant? This is life still equal to my attack. Oh, I'm actually at zero gold. Did I? I? I wasn't even paying attention to my gold. I didn't realize I actually used all of my gold. This is a six. This is a nine. Mm, this is an eight. That's a three. Which I, oh, I never bothered to do that. Whoops. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm never gonna use this one or this one or frickin' soul beam. So I think this is the one. It's nine. Okay. Now it's annoying because this guy, they both died of their poison, so I don't actually get to do anything with it. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, let's actually see what happens if a guy kills himself with poison. Oh, so it, it, whoa. So they, the attack actually like never happened. That's interesting. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, hmm. I am going to wait until I take some damage from the dooms before I get this epic life steal. So I'm gonna have this guy get to work on Mr. Lich King. And then we pop it and then we do this again. And then we pop it. That's 10. I really wish I could just stick this guy in front of it, but I can't. You know what? You've served me well, but now your time has come to pay the ultimate price. And I will kill the Lich King with exact lethal damage myself. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. We finally won one. I've actually never beaten the game as Rose, and I don't even mind if I never beat a game with her the entire time in this playthrough, but she is the person that we have to be next. This is kind of funny. It's not really a new unlock, obviously. Um, it, it was already there. I don't know why that showed that. But hey, Hoodle, thanks again, guys. I'll see you again soon. Take care.